Hello there, my name is Rick Kundi. I'm a Solution Manager in uh, Keysight Technologies. One of the big challenges uh, today for uh, the automotive industry is that the car is no longer mechanical. It has long been electrified and especially nowadays where we expect a lot more connectivity in our car uh, to enhance the safety and also to enhance the convenience. Um, th we have standards such as Wi-Fi, uh, cellular, Bluetooth, etc. to make the car a more personal and, and home-like uh, experience. Now, with these extra connections, there are also increased number of attack surfaces. And these attack surfaces could allow hackers or somebody to uh, attack the car using any of these uh, connect connections as potential entry points. Now, why does this happen? So it's widely believed that cars nowadays have around 100 million lines of code. 100 million lines of code, just think about that. Compare that to something like uh, Microsoft Windows operating system or you know, Facebook or something, they might have uh, 10 million lines of code. Now, even with the best practices in coding, it is assumed that for every 10,000 lines of code, there is one error. Now, if we use that in the car, there could still be up to 10,000 errors in that code. And each of those 10,000 errors could be an attack point, could be an entry point for somebody on the outside. And because many of these are wireless uh, standards, you don't have to be next to the car. Nobody, can, nobody needs to be physically connected. It can be done completely remotely. Now, another issue arises in, is in terms of standardization. So currently there are no worldwide standards that define how cybersecurity testing should be done. So each company, each department within that company could have different testing standards, could have different testing methodologies. There is no traceability, um, there is no repeatability, or if there is, it's very little and it's, it's difficult to keep on, on top of everything. Now, and this is where Keysight can, can help you. So today, I'm going to demonstrate our SA8710A cybersecurity penetration test system. I will go through each of the blocks that make up the solution. We will speak about the software that controls and runs everything, and we will explain how we can uh, penetrate your devices uh, so you can ensure from early on within your de design lifecycle that your ECUs, your systems, and your full cars are robust um, to outside interference. Okay, so now we're going to look at the building blocks of our solution. So we'll start firstly with the software, and this is the Keysight Pathwave test software. This is a test management suite uh, developed by, by Keysight, and we have uh, modified it to make it unique uh, for the cybersecurity test solution, uh, by which we mean we have added test steps that control all of the uh, appropriate hardware. Now, the beauty of the Keysight Pathwave test suite is that not only is it set up and ready to go uh, for cybersecurity tests, but you also have the flexibility to create your own tests as well and run those. Okay, and if we move down to the next stage of the solution, we have our management computers. So we have one Windows-based machine and one Linux-based machine. On the Linux-based machine, this is where we uh, store the ATI libraries. This is where, with the subscription model, you will receive regular updates to known threats. Um, you are also able to integrate uh, your own uh, ATI library as well, if you wish. Uh, Keysight does not have access to that, so it enables full security uh, for, for yourselves. And then we have the Windows uh, computer, which is running the Pathwave test software and any of the other control software that, that you may want to run. And next up, if we move down a little bit, is we have a couple of devices here. So on the left-hand side, we have an aftermarket Android uh, car module. So this uh, is our device under test. So this is what we are connecting to using, using our uh, connection radios. On the right hand side is a power supply supplying the 12 volts to the to the Android device. And then just behind you can see a series of USB hubs and an antenna. This is um, our connection hub that uh, holds the Bluetooth radio, the Wi-Fi radio and the CAN connection module. And it is with these modules that we can connect to, uh, in our case, our device, or it can connect to any device depending on the on the connection type. And then if we go below a little bit, 
we come to the final piece of the puzzle, which is our UXM series uh, base station emulator. So this is how we connect to devices using cellular technologies. So we can connect using 2G, 3G and 4G. And in this instance, on our device under test, we are connected using the uh, 4G signal from the UXM and we are also connected using a Wi-Fi signal from the USB uh, devices that you saw above. And of course, all of these are controlled from the Pathwave test suite that you saw at the beginning. So those are the building blocks of the hardware that comprise our uh, cybersecurity solution. Now let's move over to the software and we can see how everything is controlled and we can see some tests being run. So here we are seeing the display of the Windows machine. The Linux is simply a black box which is also fully controlled from this environment. Firstly, here we have the Keysight Pathwave test software. This is the test management and scheduling software which controls all of the hardware and software within this solution. The Linux machine is also controlled from this software. The way Pathwave test works is that you can program a series of test steps, as we have done here, which it will then execute. You also have the capability to run more complex programmatical commands, such as loops or statements. With their SA8710A pen test suite, Keysight provides all of the test steps required to run the solution. However, if you also wish to control your own software or hardware, you can add your own test steps. For more information on Keysight Pathwave test, please go to keysight.com. So for this demonstration, these are the test steps that we want to run. The first is called base setup, which sets up the solution and makes it ready to go. Then we have one called pop-up, and this works by a hacker gaining access to the device via a port left open after a debug mode is not correctly disabled. This allows the attacker to install a text viewer without the user knowing, and we can then tell this viewer to show a message of our choosing. The final one is called reboot, which works by the hacker taking advantage of the same vulnerability and rebooting the device. Okay, so we've gone over the software. Let's go to the video feed here. So this is a live feed of our DUT, which is an aftermarket Android-based head unit. We will use our solution to create a connection to it via Wi-Fi, and we will attack it using the vulnerabilities just mentioned. So let's go back to the test automation software and run the tests. Okay, let's go back to the feed. And here we go. Your device has been hacked is the message. That's exactly what we sent it and it is working. And now shortly it should start to reboot. It's going dim. And there we have it. Both attacks were successful. Okay, now let's go back to the software. So you can see here that we also generate the report. So it gives information such as test start and finish time the devices is under test and their connection types and you also have a test plan, plan breakdown so if you wish to see your results in more detail you can. So that was one particular test that we have run uh, but with this solution you can do also do many others for example port scanning, fuzzing, checking for vulnerable app installs, brute force attacks and more and we can also provide risk scoring for found vulnerabilities so you can properly catalogue for each of your devices tested. So thank you everybody for listening. Uh, if you would like further information on this or any of our other solutions within automotive or any other industry, please go to keysight.com. Thank you very much.